Hello everybody, this is Alex, and uh, in today's video I was going to do the normal kind of time-lapse thing, but then it just it kind of turned into a not very fun time. Um, there's just a lot of things I'm not understanding with the new gameplay mechanics and stuff, and uh, I thought that this would be a good time to, you know, tell you guys what else has been going on and, and everything else. Uh, because, you know, I do my normal spiel on this. We're just gathering what. So, uh, on November 1st, I decided that I was leaving um, South Dakota and my job uh, with Puck Enterprises. I felt that after selling them uh, roughly, let's say, seven and a half million dollars worth of items, uh, pumps, hose, even tractors on occasion that uh, you know it was not working out I'd spent uh, the better part of two years uh, in the sales department and I'd really had not made any kind of uh, money uh, so you know you would expect seven million dollars sold that you would be compensated well uh, especially when we were at a 40% margin so, you know, it it just wasn't working out. So I put in my two months uh, on November 1st. Two months, not two weeks, two months to, uh, to get them going. Uh, that way we could find a replacement and, you know, take care of everything. You know, do, 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 them, do them a solid. Uh, I'd planned for my vacation uh, months ahead of time. Uh, we are going to celebrate uh, Thanksgiving in Myrtle Beach uh, with my family. So we'd all come down and uh, hung out and had a good time. The day after Thanksgiving, uh, and let me tell you, I'm still on vacation at this point. The day after, in my hotel room, I'd received a call that they were terminating my position early and that I was done on December 10th. After I gave them two months lead up that you know, this is what I was gonna do. So what had happened was they had quote unquote assumed that I was not gonna hit my sales goals for the year, which was uh, $4 million, $8 million total in the region and so forth. So uh, that's, not exactly true as most of my customers make purchases right before the first of the year so we're talking multiple million dollar orders uh, we're going to come through uh, I was not going to get compensated for any of those that would have come through uh, I did not get to say goodbye to any of my customers I did not get to do you know a bunch of things that I had planned um, like, you know, moving. So that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. Um, they said that I had been underperforming. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but having to cover three states with a sales team that just wasn't working for you. And that, uh, you know, it, it was just a very bad situation to be in. Um, I had a couple mental breaks and decided that, you know, this was, this was it. I'm done. So, December 10th uh, comes and goes, and I'm out. I'm unemployed the, the week before Christmas, basically, uh, with no income. So, I packed up and moved, and then uh, it was a very freeing experience, let's say, that I was, you know, basically working. Uh, these long hours, um, I couldn't stream, I couldn't do videos, I didn't have the energy to do anything. I, uh, yeah, that was, that was not a good time. But the most freeing thing was when I came down early uh, to South Carolina, I had to make money somehow, and I decided to do uh, DoorDash and Instacart. Uh, for money um, and ended up making more per hour by almost double um, I didn't have to work nearly as much uh, 
you know, things are starting to look on the up and up. So, um, I don't need to be a Debbie Downer. But, yeah, so that's, that's basically what happened. Um, my position was then filled by somebody, and uh, then, the, you know, it, it is what it is, but you shouldn't lie to my customers. Everybody thought that I'd left in a huff, and I did not. Um, but that was the feeling that um, the customers that were told that I had left uh, felt. And uh, to this day, I still get, you know, calls. Uh, there's like 279 people I dealt with. Um, you know, I, I talk to most of them at least once a week. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was just uh, a very odd and freeing experience all, all at once. And... I, I don't know how how I feel about that. That, you know, I did, you know, help my company the best I could. You know, they I'm sure there was stuff that I did that they didn't like, but it's whatever at this point. Um, but, you know, to be honest, I think that they, uh, they kind of really tiptoed around issues too much. Um, for a company their size, you know, you're talking a couple hundred employees. Uh, based across three different companies, uh, the corporate speak had, had become far too much. It, it didn't make any sense that, you know, with that few employees and with the limited amount of customers that they did have um, and how they wanted to act versus how our customer base acts and, and wants to be talked to. They want to be talked to as a person not a company in, in most regards. Now, we did have some bigger company contracts, and that those situations did require, you know, some more, uh, not cussing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there, there, were, there was just a bunch of things wrong. And to, to this point, I do believe that there are many things that still kind of uh, afoot. But uh, luckily, I'm, I'm out of it. Um, you know, it was a very toxic environment to be in. Not, not the guys that I worked with directly um, out of the store that I was. Um, they were awesome. I, 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 you know, I told them whenever I left if they ever want anything or need anything, they could call me anytime. You know, if they wanted to come down and, and visit or whatever, you know, that's fine. But uh, uh, the guys at the main office, they, they didn't get it. They, um, a little too out of touch with their customers, I think. Uh, trying to be too many, too many, too many chiefs, not enough Indians, and a dumb sales model that just wasn't making any sense. Um, you know, too many divisions for as little as the company was. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, may have caught a cold. Um, but yeah, um, just uh, some different things. So, uh, that's, what, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, I know that this is kind of not the normal video. Again, all we did was buy a Unimog and uh, get that going. So, I'm going to let the video finish out here. And uh, I hope that uh, hope that you guys stick around. Hopefully, I'll have some more content out uh, sooner than later. Things have been looking up, um, let's say. And if you can hear them, Kuma is fervently scratching at his cage. So I better go take care of uh, the little ferret there. So thank you guys for sticking around. Sorry things have been kind of gone. But uh, mental health first, then fun video game things. So see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.